the central role played by trade in the European Union economy and the millions of European jobs that depend on exports from the European Union. Before the COVID-19 crisis, 35 million European jobs depended on exports and 16 million on foreign investments. Flanders is very aware of the importance of trade agreements. In other words, one job in every seven depended on exports. This translates to one in three jobs in Flanders. Export is an important lifeline of Flanders' economy and the basic pillar of any economic relaunch. More than ever, science and technology drive our exports. Flanders already has got an own agency, Flanders Investment and Trade, that is very successful. The unity of the European Union requires us to cooperate in foreign trade. This is a leverage where we, which we use to successfully negotiate trade agreement. We have to face future ch challenges related not only to the pandemic, but also due to the Union needing a strong foothold in the world. The pandemic has clearly highlighted vulnerabilities in our supply chains that we must address in order to be better prepared for future crises. And Europe needs to be self-sufficient in the supply of materials and the production of essential products, including medicines. This needs to be a priority for a strong Europe in the world. Secondly, we need to be better communicating with what we are undertaking. The crisis has been, there has been some problems on the back foot or defense communications. And this brings me to my next point, and this is the trade agreement with the UK. It's clear that this is very important agreement with our neighbor. It's hugely important to Flanders and its economy, <clears throat> but we need honesty and the implementation of the agreement from our trading partners. And I will repeat what I mentioned yesterday in the plenary, that I do not think the Brexit the judgment fund is large enough to help regions Thank and you. business adjust to, to the added complexities of the new uh, trade agreement.